What's up guys, I'm Aventuro and I have traveled all over Switzerland. Let me show you the top places and give you some information on how to get there. We start with Iseltwald in the Bernese Highlands. It's easy to reach from the Autobahn. Leave your car in the public parking lot and walk 15 minutes downhill with a spectacular view. It's also possible to get there by boat or cruise ship, for example from Interlaken. Next is Limernsee in Glarus. You take a cable car up to Tierfed and walk through a 3 km, 1.8 mile tunnel for roughly 30 minutes. If you want the view in my video, you continue uphill towards Mutzehütte for roughly an hour and 600 meters in altitude. It's deep but worth it. You can also sleep at the Mutzehütte or in a tent. Also a steep walk of about one hour leads you to the amazing Seealpsee. Park your car at the public lot in Wasserauen and take the paved road to get there. Rent a boat or just walk around the lake. It's also the gateway to many other places in the Appenzell region. Gigerwaldsee in Canton of St. Gallen is truly mind-boggling as you can see. You can get here from Bad Ragaz by car in 40 minutes. The road is open in the summer month. If the roads are closed, you can walk on trails or the paved road from the towns nearby. You want to see a 600 meter, 2000 feet amazing cascade fall in Switzerland? You have to come to Adelboden. By car or bus, go to the station Unter dem Berg. From here, take the cable car or walk one hour up to Engstlingenalp. It's also the largest plateau in Switzerland and can be visited in all seasons. Lake Balponia in the Grisons. It's not far from the pass road of the Albula Pass, which leads to and from the high Alpine valley Engadin. Park your car on the side of the road and walk only a couple of minutes to explore this beauty. Last but not least, the Jungfrau Joch, top of Europe in the Bernese Highlands. From here, you can see the Great Aletsch Glacier, which is the largest glacier in the Alps. Take the Cog train from Grindelwald or Lauterbrunnen or the Eiger Express. Enjoy the views from 3500 meters or roughly 11,000 feet above sea level. You don't need to book in advance, but I suggest it. That's it for my Switzerland suggestions. There are so many more places I want to show you. Hit like and let me know in the comments where you want to go to in Switzerland. For more travel inspiration and hacks, subscribe now because more is about to come. This is Aventuro and I'll see you soon.